Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a live commentary round with the Nero Trainer. Uh, this is also a shakedown for my c new capture device, so let me know how everything looks and sounds. I think I've got the settings good, but uh, I'm getting prepped for Code Fairy, and I wanted something that would actually record the uh, PS5 at decent, uh, at decent, uh, uh, you know, quality. Problem, of course, being that that means monstrous bitrate. So I am, uh, my, I think my next step will be a new hard drive because I've got a couple of terabytes of storage overall. I'm going to need more terabytes. Oh, I think, no, that's, that's a Jetta, which that could be a problem. Oh, but hey, I missed the Desert Gelgug entirely. That's great. And that is a desert, not a uh, Gunther, because we're way too high a cost for a Gunther, but... Oh no. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna try to die interestingly. Not gonna happen. Okay, yeah, so they've wiped us already. That's fairly standard. But, uh... Yeah, while we were trying to push forward, they just came around the side. That seems to be the, uh... Uh, se seems to be the move right now. Looks like freaking Ring Around the Rosie is escaping to other maps. It's happening here. It's happening on desert. Uh, you know, I, I'm not a NASCAR guy. I'm, I'm, I'm more into, you know, more interesting tr uh, kinds of tracks with more, you know, different places to go, different things to do, and this full armor Gundam is dead as heck. Got it. Okay, now, I'm going to charge my power attack and see if I can sneak up on somebody. There's a high gog. There is... Come on around the corner, guy. You can probably see my saber sticking through the machinery. Okay, you just burned a dodge roll. Have some death. I am so sorry, but I did at least dispense the death as needed. Okay, Sturmfaust out. It is, of course, called a club, as all the other Gundam Sentinel Sturmfausts are. Uh... Thing is, the uh, they probably the Sentinel happened in '87, and I think it uh, I think it predates the name Sturmfaust in Gundam, actually. So, uh, Katoki, no, I think the Camper had uh, Sturmfaust. So, you know, uh, Yutaka Izubuchi may have uh, picked up the idea. Well, he may have picked up the idea from the same place Katoki did, or he may have picked it up from Katoki. But either way, yeah, Sentinel. The Sturmfausts are called clubs, so... Gotcha. I've got a flash grenade next. Well, I didn't quite flash myself. Okay, we're going to go back to the club. There's two of them now, that's a problem. The rifle's pretty good. It doesn't do... It's the same as the standard Nero rifle. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it does stun with two uncharged shots, actually. So... He just rolled. I hope he does not have double roll. Luckily, my uh, allies tackle ate the uh, stun from my saber. And good job by that desert Gelgug uh, to, uh, in protecting his ally, annoyingly so. I am not as good at protecting my ally, which is why I just hit them so bad. And sending sorry again. Yeah, the Nero Trainer's... Uh, Nero Trainer's downswing is the same as the standard Nero, that is to say, very shallow, but very wide, which is a problem, actually. Managed to tag it without uh, tagging any allies, good. Good, got it. But yeah, it's, it's a tough one to use, and its power attack is based on that same animation, which is tricky. But I have managed to land some stuff here. But yeah, it's basically a Nero with with a heavy attack and a quick turn. So let's switch back to the say, uh, to the rifle because a little bit too close quarters here to be thinking about the big swings. Die, please. Okay. Also, it has excellent Vulcans. 68 damage a hit, but look how fast. Yeah, so... And that's with type disadvantage, the 68. If I were to have higher, it would be... You know, if I were to have type advantage, it would be significantly higher. So, it is... it's good stuff. Okay, you're coming down after me. Oops, I had not enough health to uh, back up my aggression there. So, that happens. But yeah, let me know how this looks and sounds, because I think I've got things dialed in pretty well. 
I'll warn you, Sunday's G generation is gonna look a little ugly. I did not have I did not have my bitrate monstrously high enough yet, so it's okay when things sit still, which in a strategy game happens a fair amount. But whenever things move, yeah. So that's Sunday's G Gen. Expect ugliness. And okay, everybody is just moving in on me. Well, managed to tackle in amidst all that mess. And I am just going to go out swinging here because there's so much swinging to do. Oh, hey, hi. All right, well. Got tackled. I'm about to die. Very much so. Hey, I was standing up. I should have had iframes. I, I declare the hacks. But, no, just the usual latency. You, you know how this game is by now. But, uh, man, I, I, uh, I, again, so looking forward to Code Fairy. That's why I went and got this, uh, this, I'm using the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus. So, hmm, awfully, okay, yeah, on static screens, CPU usage goes down. Like I said, uh, I'm using OBS to do this, because the, uh, Elgato's built-in software is actually not, uh, the HD60S's software is not as robust as the old, like, 10-year-old Game Capture HD. So, I have Maneuver Armor Guy, sorry. Ooh, good tackle, smart. I'm going to hold you still, though. I've been told that tackling to, uh, tackling to, uh, after someone tackles you, not a good move, and I agree that if I can maneuver around somebody, that would be better. But also, sometimes, just... Hold them still. Hold them still and kill them, however you can do that. So... It may be one of those moves that only works because it's dumb and, I, and everyone else knows better, so they don't expect it. That's just kind of how that works sometimes. Aw, oh, man. I have a Sturmfaust for you, sir. Have one. Okay, come on. Well, I'm going to move on to this person, who's going to get flashed here. Oops, tackled. Well, I'm going to do it again, foolishly. How? Oh, no, I caught that. Thank you, Latency. You are my friend. You were my friend. I now have no friends because I am dead. But, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know why the HD60 S Plus' software is much less, uh... Fancy than the uh, old uh, Elgados. I assume it's because pe they expect people to be using it with OBS for streaming and the like, so... You know, they figure they'll give something bare bones to people who aren't doing that. The part's driving me crazy is unless I have missed it, and please, you know, clue me in if you use, if you have one of these, I swear it doesn't have built-in volume for the game capture. I'd have to adjust the volume in every game I'm using and put it extra low to get everything set up properly. So, yep, going to send my sorries, but I think I did it had a fairly good performance if a sloppy one. 116,000 damage, 3,100 out of our uh, 11,000 points. Yeah, definitely not a win, but, uh, you know, I will send some uh, praises out. Just, uh, I think I worked with those two a little bit, so. Yep, yeah, um, let's look at the final. Five kills, four deaths. Yeah, for a raid I'm not super familiar with, and I'm not always good with raids, as you've seen. You know, that'll do it, but yeah, that is... Uh, that is the uh, Nero Trainer. It's not bad. I didn't make use of the quick reverse of the quick turn skill, but I rarely ever do. It's just kind of an awkward skill, in my opinion. But uh, I've seen people do devastating things with it, though. I've seen people go, you know, just zip past people, quick turn, and power attack. So you know, I'll try and get that done sometime so you guys can see. But for now, this is gonna do it. I think. We will be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody, take care and have fun. Later. This file's probably going to be two gigabytes big just to start. Wow.